JT Smith here of the Front Office News. Sorry I've delayed my vlogs a while, but I have been writing a, lo a lot more on the site, so make sure you guys have been checking out the Front Office News. Um, but today's topic is Le'Veon Bill. The Pittsburgh Steelers offered him a five-year deal worth $70 million with $33 million of the guarantee. He turned it down. Um, I, under I see what he's trying to do here. He's trying to get the running backs paid like they're supposed to be paid. Um, the NFL has marginalized the running backs as of late. Um, the highest paid running back right now is Devontae Freeman, who's making about 8.25, and that guy is a boss too. Like, he's a baller. And it's a lot of kid, cats that are coming up that should get paid like how Le'Veon Bell wants to get paid, and I understand what he's trying to do. He might be wanting to get more guarantee, I'm not for sure, um, exactly how much more he wants, but I see where he's going at. Um, I mean, the guy last season had 12, well, 1,291 yards on 321 carries, and he also had 85 receptions, 85 catches. And he's had two seasons with more than 80 catches. Three seasons with more than 70 catches, and, that, and he's only been in the league five years. And you know running backs have low shelf life, so he wants to get paid. Um, I don't think the offer that the Steelers made was terrible because he would almost double the next guy. But I see what he's trying to do because they should be getting paid close to a quarterback if you're putting up these kind of numbers. You're good in pass protection. You run the ball very well, and, you, and you're a threat off the backfield like this. I mean... Because 85 catches, I mean, and this is on a team that has Antonio Brown, who had, I know, over 100 catches last year. So that's crazy. Just think about that. And, you know, it, it's paving the, it's going to pave the way for the Ezekiel Elliott's, the David Johnson's, um, the, the Todd Gurley's, those guys that are dual threat running backs that can run the ball real well and catch. And Alvin Kamara, too. I mean, he's only in the second year, but it's paving the way for these guys. Um, Kareem Hunt, um, those guys. So the guys that can do it all. Um, because they're marginalizing the running backs, man. So I understand what he's trying to do. Hopefully he can get more than a 15 next year, and maybe it's a shorter deal, but then he gets 16 or 17. It's most, most of it's guaranteed. Because, I mean, in NFL, that's, that's the most, it's the most violent sport. We love it because of the violence, but you are one hit away from stuff maybe not, maybe your check's not clearing anymore, you know? So get these guys paid because quarterbacks are getting paid a ridiculous amount. They deserve it. Some don't, but the top-notch quarterbacks do deserve it. And it's a lot of real good running backs that deserve it. So if Le'Veon Bell can, you know, pay the way, then other running backs that just are good are going to get paid just as good or maybe better. Then the, the average running backs are going to get paid better. It just makes it better, man. Just better for the work environment for those guys. When they know they do something, they, they're going to get paid. Uh, because everybody's not going to get a Kirk Cousins deal where everything's guaranteed. It's crazy, right? All right, so I just want you guys to either come with comments um, just let us know what you feel about the Le'Veon Bell situation. I'm J.T. Smith, and I'm signing out.